Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another Rotato Danger 5 genetically modified overkill run. Hope you're all doing well. Today, we're going to be building the ultimate Fortress of Fire using the new characters from the Abyssal Terrors DLC. We're going to be using the Techno Mage, whose structures get stronger the more elemental damage we have, combined with the Mage, whose uh, fire will allow us to burn everything that our structures touch. In addition to that, we're going to be adding the Streamer, who gets armor from every construct we have on the field, and who gets money just for standing still. So we should be able to just wait things out and watch as the enemies burn to death around us. We're of course going to start with the Wrench, and let's just get right into it. We're going to hold still here, and we actually got a, a pretty interesting pattern, like a good pattern for our turrets. They're going to defend us as the enemies close in on us, so already the Fortress is online. Um, we want, of course, to not move for the first, like, 14 to 17 seconds of the wave. Then we want to go pick up some materials at the end of the wave, just so we're not leaving too many on the ground. Here, we're going to reroll. Um, the reroll, so I think this was changed in a patch, like today, maybe. The reroll costs one instead of two, uh, the first reroll in the first shop. Uh, I'm not sure why that is, um... I haven't read the patch notes, but it does seem like they have made that change. And then we're going to pick up the wrench here as well. Lock the tree, because of course that's an awesome item for us. We can also lock Peaceful Bee. Peaceful Bee is just a good, efficient item to get early. I think we're going to go with all turrets and no um, screwdrivers for this character. So we're just going to go with wrenches. Although screwdrivers are pretty good at lighting things on fire with the, the mage. Um... Yeah, maybe let's mix in some screwdrivers. So I'm going to lock this screwdriver as well and just not re-roll here. We'll keep our eight materials and go to the next wave. It is going to take us a long time to level up because the Techno Mage has huge XP penalties. I'm not going to move um, if possible because, of course, we want to be triggering the streamer passive as frequently as we can. But... When the waves get a little bit more difficult, we're going to have to move to pick up materials later on. It's also worth noting that only the materials we actually pick up give us XP. The ones that the streamer ticks are not worth experience, so that's going to slow our level progression even more. Here, we're going to do a reroll, and I'll take five harvesting. Always good to get harvesting going early. And we'll pick up the screwdriver and the wrench, and then roll again, lock another wrench, and we're well on our way to constructing our fortress. Because we have the Scared Sausage, every time our Constructs hit an enemy, they might get lit on fire. So that in and of itself is going to help spread the fire around. And if we get more Scared Sausages, that'll be great. Of course, we get bonuses to our elemental damage because the Mage increases our elemental damage gain. And then that elemental damage is going to increase our, the attack speed of our Constructs. I do have to run around here and pick up some materials. We ended up with a lot quite spread out this wave, so we have a, a few fewer than we otherwise would, but I think we're still in pretty good shape. Go with the wrench, and I will just buy the Peaceful Bee here for the harvesting, take another reroll, lock a screwdriver, and go to the next wave. Wave 4 now, we want to start uh, saving a bank for the streamer. We've got our turrets online, and those can help protect us for a little bit, I think. So we're going to be able to build up a bank so the streamer passive can start ticking for two materials every turn, or every second. I have to run the Lamprey through our turret, so I'm going to take this opportunity to run around, gather materials until we hit 67, and then as we hold still as the streamer, um, we're going to be gaining two materials per second. We also managed to kill both a Curse Alien and a Loot Alien, which with a Construct build is pretty unusual, so that's pretty great. I'll take the melee damage here. We will use it to scale our weapons, and I think it's worth more than 20 materials. It's a uh, small amount. Oh, wait. No, because we have double negative melee scaling. I didn't even pay attention to that. So the Techno Mage gets minus melee scaling, and the um, the Mage gets minus melee scaling. So when I pick that up, it's negative. Obviously, I shouldn't have grabbed that. I'll take the elemental damage here, though, because uh, increases to our elemental damage increase our construct attack speed, which is pretty good. Let's go ahead and I think we want... Um, I'm actually just going to lock this whole shop. I think we're fine in terms of damage output. So uh, obviously the, the mastery was a mistake there and we should have recycled it. Uh, 
that you that's what you get for playing these incredibly wacky characters. It's not entirely clear every time what is going to happen. Um, so I'm going to just lock this whole shop and save 100 because that way we're going to start by ticking for three per second right away and we can start building up a huge bank with the streamer. <laughs> Our actual weapon attacks are now kind of garbage because I, I ruined them by picking that mastery and vastly reducing my melee damage output. Um, so that's going to make things a little bit harder because I made that error. But you know what? We're just keeping things interesting. Here I'm going to go vacuum up some materials, just kind of speed up my uh, my income, hopefully. And then nice, we got the loot alien. There was a tree up in the top left corner there, but I think it'll actually cost us too much money to run up and try to get the tree. And this way we were able to build a lot of uh, bonus materials. So we have minus 22% damage. Hang on. So that's coming from... Uh, just the streamer, right? So I do still want to pick up damage. We don't have anything that'll make that reduce my damage. I think I do. Uh, obviously, I'm going to need more HP as well, though our armor's going to be incredible. Our HP needs some work. Let's roll here and roll one more time. I could take more elemental damage, but I think we need more um, defensive stats if possible. Here, though, I'll just take the harvesting. We could get to 21, and then we're going to save 200 materials, I think. So we're going to go with a wrench. Do I want two level two wrenches or a level two screwdriver? I think we'll just go with the level two screwdriver. Um, plant is going to be good. Chameleon, actually kind of interesting for this character because we get 20% dodge while standing still. We're going to be standing still an awful lot, so we're going to do that. And then let's roll one more time to try to lock a weapon here. I'll take piggy bank as well because we want to bank materials, so this character actually does want to do that. The mage has 50% engineering reduction, but we still do want to build engineering. Since we're building constructs, it's still pretty good to do that. Mostly our damage is going to come from the fire ticks from the, the scared sausage. But overall, we're still pretty happy when our constructs actually do damage as well. <laughs> Definitely have made things much harder on myself with that one, uh, that one error by picking the mastery. So that's kind of fun. We'll just say we did it on purpose to keep the run challenging and interesting. Took some damage there. Luckily, when we take damage, it's not that big a deal because our armor is so high. So even though our 10 HP is obviously terrible, um, our high armor is keeping us in the in the battle here. And run around and just grab some materials because it's also worth XP to pick these up. Harvesting is also good for that reason because we can get some levels, which are going to be really difficult for this character to come by otherwise. Um, the streamer maxes out at 25 materials per second, and you get that at 833 held materials, or no, 867? 833. 833 held materials. Um, so we're going to need to get to that break point and sort of stay there. But at that point, you are doing a lot less damage, so we will need to be quite careful if that's going to be our goal. Here, I might just take three max HP. Our max HP is really low, but I think we can get that from items, and I'll just take the nine speed, so when we have to reposition, we can. We will then take these three items. 3% um, more dodge. So this, our dodge is higher than it looks. We would be at effectively 30% dodge. Uh, we'd lose ranged damage, but that doesn't matter. So I'll, I'll take the feather here. We will upgrade our screwdrivers and buy the toxic sludge and roll again. I want to hold 300 materials this wave. I'll definitely take the pumpkin, because um, if we get piercing shots, that'll help our turrets out. More elemental damage for our burning on the charcoal, which also means more attack speed on our constructs, I think is worth it. So I'm going to go ahead and um, lock both of these items, and then hold with 318 to maximize our income. I do think you have to kind of get greedy with this character. You can see how fast our constructs are attacking already. This is a, a really difficult position for our constructs to be in, by the way, because we don't have a natural cluster to defend ourselves with. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of relying on these two turrets, but we're going to have to dodge away from the enemies as they approach. And then we'll maybe go live over here with these two turrets for a bit moving from uh, house to house.
I, I guess we're going to go live in like a content creator house over here now as the streamer. Um, bonus percent damage will help, of course, because our damage is getting lowered dramatically by the uh, the amount of money we have in our inventory. You can see we already have a thousand materials by wave seven. Uh, but let's go ahead and roll here. And I'm really looking for maximum HP if we can find that. I'm going to roll one more time. We have a lot of money and not a lot of opportunities to buy health. And just going up to 18 max HP is going to be massive for us. Take both of these items and then we'll grab a screwdriver. I'm going to combine here into a level three wrench and a screwdriver and a wrench and roll. There's the sharp bullet. So this is exactly why we bought the, um, the pumpkin so that we're not hurting our, uh, our construct damage when we buy a sharp bullet here. And then we'll buy the fish hook, or combine here, buy and buy, and then roll. And obviously we want structure attack speed. I think I'm going to go with 400 materials to start this wave. There's no science behind that. It's just the number that I feel in my heart. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is buy out this shop. Um, I don't mind losing a little consumable heal because I do want the regeneration and max HP. And then we're going to roll here. Then I can lock some items. Uh and hope that we curse them with the fish hook. Especially because we have piggy bank, so we're gonna start with 400 materials. The cursed angler fish, ooh, super dangerous there. I, I needed to, I thought that my turret was gonna kill it, but our turrets actually don't do that much damage right now. Our, our engineering's pretty low. And while the fire does do good damage, it's not incredible damage. Um, so we, we are having to move around a little more than I would like. Haven't found any additional constructs just as inventory items, just like extra turrets and landmines. Uh, obviously, that would be massive for us as well, because the more turrets we have on the field, the better our armor is, and also the more easily we can spread fire and construct damage around the map. Just making 25 materials per second here, which is amazing. Can we kill this tree? Yes. Leaving a lot of mats on the ground, but as long as we're not leaving more than than there are in a given wave, then that's fine. I'm gonna roll here, and I could take the engineering. Uh, this is only worth two engineering, but I think I'm just gonna take the six max HP. Um, and then so engineering mods are reduced by fifty percent. We have four. Yeah, I guess that makes sense because we bought just a little bit of of maximum, a little bit of engineering. We'll take the cog here and go to six, and then that will increase the damage of our constructs a lot, of course. Leather vest and campfire, both great for us. And then we'll reroll, take more elemental damage as well, and roll. Um, this will lower our ranged damage, as we saw, but uh, increase our engineering. And so I think that's a totally reasonable trade, since we're not using our ranged damage anyways. And then we'll take the eye surgery and the weird food and roll. I think I'm going to hold on 400 materials this wave. So we're just going to buy some more items here and buy a plant and another screwdriver. Go ahead and combine. And then a scared sausage is basically perfect. So let's buy this roll once. We're going to go down to 340 materials, excuse me. Um, and then I'll lock the peaceful bee. Baby elephant could help us splash damage around the field as well. So... Even though we have no luck currently, I'm going to lock this just because I, I will eventually build into luck and splashing damage around the place is something we're going to need to do. Um, and of course, we have a fish hook, so it's just good to lock items when you have fish hook. Um, I want to thank everyone for bearing with me as I get my sound settings and everything figured out again on my new uh, computer. Uh, I mentioned this in a previous video, but my old system died and... I lost, I was not able to recover the sound settings that I had painstakingly created over several months with your all of your um, assistance. So we're kind of remember, I'm, I'm recreating them from memory and still tweaking and stuff. So let me know how this video sounds compared to the last ones and compared to some earlier videos. Uh, and we can get things back into a good shape. The loot alien died there. That's awesome. And then we got another crate here. 
even with no luck. And the Chameleon, because we're standing still all the time, is actually quite good for this character because it's boosting our dodge. Our movement speed is so terrible that it's really nice that that is happening because we're currently at minus 38% speed. I do need to boost my damage output because um, right now our burning damage, even with 36 elemental damage base, is not very high. And obviously we want that in order to deal damage to enemies. Take the cute monkey here, of course. That's another way to heal. And then we will buy all of these things. Roll. And I'll take a silver bullet. That'll help a lot. And a bag. And a cyber ball as well. And I'll roll. Uh, I definitely don't want the knot here. But we do want the landmines. That's awesome. Explosion damage as well. And the alien tongue I will take. I think I'm going to go to 500 materials this wave. We will take the whistle. Upgrade our screwdriver to the maximum level. And pick up a scar. Attack speed, kind of interesting. If we do find improved tools, then we'll wish we had the attack speed. But for now, I think we're going to pass on that. And then I will go ahead and lock alien tongue, uh, mutation, and chameleon. And we can maybe curse one of those items and get them even more powerful. Definitely going to need some more defensive stat before we fight the elite. Uh, well, look at that. Four dodges in a row or something with only like 40% dodge. That was pretty lucky. Um, kind of camping over here because we've created like an RTS concave with our constructs so as enemies enter they're all receiving fire from the outside of the uh of the constructs so they, as they channel through the middle here they're getting inflating fire um just familiarity with other kinds of games lets you recognize that sort of shape and play around it too which is kind of fun <laughs> oh we're so slow have too much money I need to, to, like, actually move and not pick up money because our, our movement speed was getting so low. I was I was very much at risk of dying there. Uh, the shackles. I, I don't want to cap my speed at minus 49, I don't think. Obviously, this would be a pretty nice item for us. But I somehow I think I'd prefer not to be capped at minus 49 speed. So we're going to recycle it. And in fact, we're going to take the speed here. Then let's go with 12% damage. It will not offset the huge damage penalties that we're receiving, but it'll go some way towards doing that. With the chameleon here, the second chameleon, uh, note that nothing got cursed off the fish hook, so unlucky. Um, with the second chameleon, we are going to actually be at dodge cap, because when we're standing still, we now have 60% dodge. And then we'll buy all of these items and roll. Um, upgrade a wrench, and in fact, I'm going to buy... Uh, not the goat skull, I guess. Baby squid. We are almost never going to level up, right? Even with the scar, because of the huge penalties that Technomage gives us. Um, I guess even if we get two or three regeneration off it, it's probably worth it. So maybe I'll just grab that. We'll go ahead and combine here and buy the wrench, medical turret, baby squid, and incendiary turret. Uh, strange book. There's no reason why I wouldn't want this, right? It, it, none of these characters combine to make this hugely negative. Nope. So we're going to get a ton of engineering off of this. Looks like plus 12, which will massively boost our constructs, which is going to be incredible. Take another cute monkey and a lumberjack shirt. I think I'm going to go down to like 300 materials this wave, and I'm not taking blood donation because we just don't have the healing for it and obviously don't need the income. Um, I'm going to go down to like 300 materials this wave because last wave was starting to make me a little nervous. And I've found that wave 11 in the abyss is a pretty challenging wave overall. So let's go ahead and grab elemental damage and luck and elemental damage and roll. And then we're going to pick up the... Um, I guess I want all of these. So let's pick up the eye surgery first and lock these two. Oh, I should I should have just locked the eye surgery. I should have actually just locked all three of these items because now we're down to 200 materials. So I've, I've given up some money here. Um, I think we'll be back to full strength in terms of our income pretty quickly. The the sheer amount of structure attack speed that we have just makes it so easy for us to clear enemies right now. Just uh, all the landmines are on the field. Enemies are getting lit on fire constantly. Enemies are just dying to the, the engineering attacks constantly. The strange book, of course, is making the, the damage of our weapons actually much, much higher as well. 
I do want to transition over to this side of the wave where our medical turret is. Um, just for safety's sake. And then let these plus 25s tick in for a little bit as we dodge while standing still. We have the explosive turret over on the right side, which I probably should be using as my base of operations, but um, I think this is fine. And then here I'm going to take the max HP. We're only we're down to only 58% dodge while standing still, so I would like to increase my dodge, but I think this is fine. And then here I'm going to spend down to zero materials. We want to be able to run away from the elite, so we're just going to spend all our money, and then we'll bank back up on, a, on later waves. So we'll just buy here. I um, guess I'll... Buy another screwdriver and roll. Ugly tooth, that'll slow the elite for us, as will the snail. And the cake is great as well. Take a lure, of course. We have plus two consumable heal, so I think we can get away with a, another alien worm here. And then let's go ahead and combine and buy a screwdriver. Buy a dangerous bunny for the reroll. Gambling token, we have 28 armor, so I think we can get away with this. Put this over dodge cap and... Even though the chameleons are good when we're standing still, I probably do want to get my dodge cap to the point where we can have reasonable chances of dodging while moving. Do I want the insanity? This will decrease the damage of my fire right now, but um, if we get pile of books, which lets our structures critically hit, it'll be massive to have critical hit chance. So I think given how much money we have and how easily we can just buy items speculatively, we're just going to buy the insanity here and then roll. Uh, community support is not great for us. Um, we don't really care about the attack speed. The only thing we need attack speed for is knocking enemies away. And we'll just buy actual attack speed for that. Um, and it if it won't work with, um, with improved tools if we happen to find that. So we're going to pass on community support here and then roll. Pick another gecko though. And... Wandering Bot. I'm going to try to curse this Wandering Bot, because I, I don't think I've seen a cursed Wandering Bot, and I'm just curious what it does. And then I will take a Wrench, and might as well lock all of these items, because if we can get them cursed, that sounds fun to me, so let's give that a go. Alright, so I actually want to not hold still and not make money, because um, that'll increase my damage. We can try to set this Elite on fire, and pull it over here ideally towards our explosive construct which can attack it really quickly although this elite charges away from you so it's not one that we're going to be able to easily pull into exactly where we want it nonetheless because it's taking 100 damage every burning tick and we have two um, eye surgeries increasing our burning we were able to kill it very quickly now i'm just going to pick up some materials and then find a good place to stand for the rest of the wave i guess up here and then we'll start building our bank back up. We probably didn't have to be that conservative with spending all our money, but just for safety's sake, because we were starting to take damage thanks to my extremely low move speed in previous waves, I thought it, it made sense to do that. Take the dynamite here and the warrior helmet. Yeah, obviously explosive shells we're going to grab. It does reduce our burning damage, but... Um, it helps with our tons of landmines. Here, I do want some attack speed, but I think I'm just going to grab the luck. Uh, and hey, we did get a cursed item. Not going to help until we get pile of books, which hopefully we do. But we'll definitely take the hunting trophy. And then I'm going to lock the blindfold as well. And I think what I'm going to do is just save on 300. I guess I'll throw in my free reroll here. And then we'll lock here and we'll try to get one of these items cursed. That was a fast chop. So I could play down there by the medical turret, or I could play over here by my explosive turret. I think the explosive turret's going to keep us safer, so we're just going to do that. Is that tree going to die, or do I have to go kill it myself? Okay, nice. The explosive turret sniped it for me. Just had to yell at it. One downside is it does seem like because the um, incendiary turret fire is overwriting our normal fire, uh, 
we need to get rid of incendiary turrets. I guess we've got one in our inventory that we can't get rid of, but I should try not to have level two turrets in my inventory. Then I'm just gonna sort of wander over here and pick this up. Um, I don't need the repost because that'll just decrease my melee damage further. Uh, we can probably get away with a peacock. That seems fun. We're, we don't have an elite next wave. Nice, we got Cursed Screwdriver. That's incredible. That's going to spawn a landmine every two seconds. Uh, and then even more often as we continue to level up this Cursed Weapon. Then we will buy all of these and roll. I will then... I can't combine any of my weapons. That's interesting. So I'm probably going to sell out of the level 1 wrench and buy the level 1 screwdriver to combine these. No, that doesn't make sense. I think we can just uh, we can just roll past here. Level 2 wrench, we also can't... We, we have managed to have a setup where we can't combine any of our weapons to buy the weapons that we're seeing. But here we can. We can get a level 3 screwdriver. Let's roll again, and we will take a leather vest and a toxic sludge and roll... Uh, more piercing shots, sure. I do not want to cap my max HP at 36. That's too low for me. Even with 34 armor, which obviously is a lot, I think uh, 36 HP is, is getting a little aggressive there. So I'm going to roll. I think we're going to hold on 600 materials. So let's just buy the compass, lock the broken mouth. I guess we'll hold on 550, because then I'm going to lock these items and try to get some more cursed weapons going. All right, we should be getting a lot of landmines because we have that cursed level three, uh, level three wrench now. Or a screwdriver now. Actually, I'm not sure, I can't, see how much our normal fire is ticking for. Looks like it's actually only burning for one. So I think the, um, because our, our percent damage is minus 120. So I think the, um, the incendiary turret is overwriting it because it's just not doing any damage. Usually it just picks the highest damage burning effect and applies that one when there's multiple burning effects on the same enemy. So we'll need to find a way to offset our massive negative damage. Something like Bloody Hand could maybe do it for us. <laughs> Look how slow we move also. I have to spend at least some of this money now. Take the pencil here and we will take, uh, sure, three more engineering. Didn't get any cursed items here, but I guess I will just recycle. Oh, I should have combined. I, I forgot we had two level three wrenches. Um, but we're going to buy all of these things. Now I'll just combine and buy a level one wrench and another scared sausage for even more burning. Energy bracelet. Uh, yep, we'll just take this entire shop and roll again. I'll take a crown. Why not? It's a little bit late, but, uh, you know, better late than never. And we'll take an energy bracelet as well. And then do I immediately sell out of this level one wrench that I sold, uh, an unnecessary item for to buy a level two screwdriver. I think I do. I just want maximum weapon levels here. And then again, I'm just going to buy out this entire shop. Roll again. There's a cursed screwdriver. So we're, we're by selling our weapons a lot. Oh no, nice. We've actually got a level two screwdriver here. So we can combine and then combine and then buy the lemonade. Uh, we don't want the black belt. So let's reroll a cursed sunken bell. And of course, pocket factory. I'm going to try to get the uh, the cursed uh, pocket factory because that seems pretty awesome. Um, so I guess I could just buy these three items. The negative melee damage on the fertilizer is actually an advantage. It's going to increase our melee damage. And this explodes for 1600 damage when we go below 40% health. Uh, so we're just going to buy all of these and then I'm going to roll once and lock a bunch of items. Fried rice will be amazing because everything's burning as well. And I'm hoping that we can get a cursed pocket factory here. Then I'll, I'll just save 200 materials. Minus 30% damage I don't think is that big a deal for fighting the elite. Try to set the thing on fire and then... So now our actual fire, because our, our percent damage isn't hugely reduced because we don't have as much money, our actual fire is doing a ton of damage to the guy now. 
Um, it's only in the waves where we're banking lots of money that the fire itself is not very dangerous. And there we go. You can see how many landmines there are on the field at all times. And then let's go, I guess, camp over here by the incendiary turrets. Oh, I like that it shows the that the mines are cursed, too. Um, shows which, which uh, landmines come from a cursed construct. That's a really nice little feature. Or come from a cursed weapon. Just sort of hanging out. So, how's everyone's day? Um, anybody been watching any good movies lately? Uh, we're going to pick up a cyber ball here and a propeller hat, sure. And the big arms, this would just reduce my melee and range damage, so we'll recycle that. We've got 33% dodge. Uh, let's just take the elemental damage. Sadly, nothing got cursed, so I'm going to just buy all of these items. And then roll... And then roll again. I will pick up our last scared sausage. So now we are guaranteed to light everything on fire, which is awesome. Then we'll buy this and then roll one more time. And then I think what we're going to do here is just lock all of these items and see if we can get any of them cursed. Although the vigilante ring, maybe it doesn't make sense to do that. It would only tick uh, four times if I did that. So if we bought it wave 16 then it would, or bought it wave, at the end of wave 16, it would tick um, 17, 18, 19, so we'd only get 9% damage out of it. If I buy it now, we will get 16, 17, 18, 19, so we'll get 12% damage out of it. If it gets cursed, it's probably worth double-ish, and we'd get 18%, uh, but that's only a 20% chance, so I think we're better off buying it now, The if we want it at all. Um... But also we want to save money. So in the end, I think I'm going to lock this and hope it gets cursed. And I'll probably buy it even if it doesn't. 9% damage is still a pretty big deal when our damage is going to be highly negative. Um, but not because it's actually better to for our damage output to get the cursed Vigilante Ring. It's, it's better for our damage output to get the non-cursed version, probably. Um, but... Uh, I just wanted to save money, so we'd be generating 25 materials a second immediately. I feel like we're getting extremely lucky on dodges. Like, we'll have these high health enemies sitting on top of us. And we've got 60% dodge, but we're getting a lot of dodges here. Uh, and I wonder if Chameleon is going over dodge cap in some way, or if something odd is happening there. Or if it's just, you know, selective perception as it usually is when um, humans try to say stuff about probability. I'm going to take this because it gives us elemental and engineering and then both of those feed into one another. And then let's go ahead and just grab the dodge. Okay, we did get the cursed vigilante ring and it was 6% damage. Um, so we gained on average 20% of... Uh, yeah, so I guess, I guess we gained, on average, 20% of 9 damage, or a little bit less than 2, and gave up 3. So it was bad to lock it from the perspective of pure damage on average, but we just happened to get lucky, so sometimes uh, that'll just happen. We'll go with even more landmines, and we'll buy the Vigilante Ring, and then... Okay, so do I want the level 2 Wrench or level 2 Screwdriver? I think... Just even more landmines is really good. So we're actually going to lean more screwdrivers, especially because we're about to be buy another dynamite. Then we'll roll here. A toolbox is great. A cog is great. Jelly, because our max HP is actually quite low. More landmines, sure. Fuel tank, yes. Ten regen when standing still. Well, guess what we do. Uh, and then I'm going to roll here. Fairy, injection. All of these are awesome. Do I want to try to curse any of them? I think we'll just go with 500, and I'm actually gonna lock these two, buy this one, roll once, and then lock a peaceful bee as well, and we'll just try to get all of these cursed. The combination of having the streamer passive, piggy bank, and cursed fish hook means we're so highly incentivized to just lock items in our shop, which is really interesting. Usually you're better off if there's an item you want just buying it. 
Um, but this character really wants to lock items. Yeah, so there, that guy sat on top of us and we got like five dodges out of six damage instances. Uh, it's possible I'm just getting very lucky. You know, we've got streamer luck. Um, but it's also possible that there's something broken with the math. Continuing to just tick 25 materials a second, just making bank out here. See, if this guy's computer dies, no big deal. Uh, I'll take a dynamite, and then I guess we will upgrade our screwdrivers. I could also go for locking and trying to curse another screwdriver, but with only a 20% chance, I just don't think it's that likely to happen. So let's go ahead and recycle, upgrade. Bye, bye, bye. I also want to spend my money. Um, bone dice, it's too late, but we'll take snake and campfire and roll. Take the scar. I'll take the banner. Uh, uh, scar, there was no reason to buy scar there, of course. Just sort of autopilot. And then we'll take the head injury. We have 71 regeneration, so even though it's an elite wave, I'm going to buy the weird ghost. We've got so much regen, plus 10 more from the coral. Um... So I think we're okay to just buy Weird Ghost, and then we will buy this, this, and this, and roll. Frozen Heart, amazing. It does hurt our burning damage. 64% slower burning, um, which then gets reduced a little bit because we have the burning ticks off of the um, eye surgeries that we've gotten, these ones. Uh, so we would end up with 44% slower burning, but it makes our weapon damage... Uh, massive. It's going to vastly increase our weapon damage for our actual weapon attacks, and just gives us a whole bunch of other stuff. So we're still going to take it. Cursed Frozen Heart. And then, yeah, Cursed Power Generator. Um, hmm. So, this is kind of a problem, because as we gain money, we would lose... Oh, no, it's only for permanent plus speed. So, um... As we gain money, we lose speed, but the power generator doesn't care about that because power generator only cares about our permanent speed stat. So this is actually a really good way to offset our negative damage modifiers. Then I'm going to take the spicy sauce and um, more percent damage from the missile. Sure, it's good for our burning anyways. And we'll take a cursed spicy sauce and a charcoal and roll and a medical turret and a dynamite are perfect. Then we'll lock a peaceful bee, roll here, and try to lock a bunch more items to curse them. All right, with only one material in the bank, let's see if we can kill this elite quickly. I am gonna just kinda back off a little bit to our medical turret first, and then we'll try to take it down. You can see we're hitting it really, really hard, um, both with our burning damage and also just with our weapon attacks, because they scale off of our engineering and our elemental damage. Because um, the screwdrivers scale off of engineering naturally. Haven't found pile of books. Haven't found... Um, um, the item that lets your weapon scale off your engineering, which I'm blanking on the name of. But... Other than that, we've mostly got all of the key things for this character, and you can see just how many landmines we're creating, which obviously is really funny to me. And we're, we're really fast, too, which is nice. Didn't make that much money that wave. I probably should have picked up some materials first so we could tick our income a little more, but that's okay. We'll take the regen potion and the book and the snake. And then we will roll here and pick up three more elemental damage. And then I might just lock here and we'll try to curse a bunch of things. I guess I'll uh, buy the peaceful bee. Roll. And then, yeah, we'll lock all this and try to curse a bunch of things and just make a bunch of money. And then we will be able to take all the cursed items potentially into uh, wave 20. Which I guess we don't need the treasure map. So let's roll that away and try to curse something else. All right. Perfect. That way we can take money into wave 19.
Actually, I'm kind of having a blast with this build, and it is um, <laughs> sort of just coming into its own with the sheer number of landmines on the field. So I think we're going to take it a couple levels into endless mode. Uh, maybe just like up to wave 25 or 30 or something, just because I'm really enjoying the absolute nonsense and the sheer amount of money we're going to be able to generate with the streamer, I think is just really fun as well. So we'll do a little bit of an endless run as well. So endless fans, you are welcome. Um, Goat Skull, I'll take, just because it's a unique level 1 item for the fairy. It, it decreases my melee damage, but I think that's okay. So I guess this is plus 1 regen, minus 3 melee, minus 2 crit chance. Uh, so maybe I should just recycle it, but it, it's, a, it's a level 1 that we don't have yet, so I think I'm going to pick it up anyways. And then let's go ahead and get attack speed, because I want to build towards... Improved tools. That's the other item that we haven't found yet that would be really awesome for us. Now, wishing I hadn't rolled away that treasure map because I was thinking that we would just end on uh, wave 20, but we aren't. Go ahead and roll here and roll. Blood donation we're going to pass on. Let's roll again. Level 3 wrench we don't really need, but I'll take the medical turret and the warrior helmet and then roll. A black belt. So now XP gain a little bit more interesting since we're going into endless mode. So I think we are going to buy the cursed black belt. It's the five melee damage again is bad. So the, the curse is, is hurting us there. Um, but that's okay. And then we are going to still buy the pearl and roll. There's the pile of books. Okay. Uh, I don't think it has any unique effect if I curse it it's just more crit chance and more engineering so I think we'll just buy it rather than trying to curse it and then I'm gonna buy it buy this and then I'm gonna go for a cursed coil and a cursed charcoal as well and let's see if we can curse any of these also all right let's go to endless mode <laughs> I was uh thinking we'll just make some money here because I think our damage from our constructs is just high enough that we'll just uh, kill the bosses anyways. We could have spent out there, but I just don't think that we need to. Just want to make more money. And while we are definitely slower, we're not so slow that we can't dodge the boss attacks. <laughs> look at our look at our explosive turret just going off over there. Just the Gatling explosive turret. Got to pick up some of these materials because we're leaving like so many on the ground that they're starting to really double up. Uh, Sift's Relic or more Geckos would help solve that problem, of course. So now our piggy bank is going to stop working because we're going into endless mode and piggy bank stops working at wave 20, but our streamer passive will continue to, to function. So we still do want a bank of materials. Our padding also is going nuts. Look at how much HP we have. We are going to hit, There's a so there's a hard limit of 100 constructs on the field, and we're going to hit that limit for, for sure. Uh, Retromation's hoodie, um, yeah, I mean, I guess I want a bunch of attack speed, so we'll, we'll go ahead and take that, and we'll take the Greek fire, that's gonna help us kill elites and bosses. Cursed dangerous bunny, amazing. We would buy a non-cursed one, but getting the cursed one just gives us extra rerolls. Probably getting cursed dangerous bunny is something that you really should strive for if you're going for, like, ludicrous deep runs in endless mode. Take bonus movement speed here, and I'll just take the attack speed, and then we're going to buy out this whole shop. Take a medical turret and a cog, um, and a snake, and then alien worm. We can probably buy as well. Let's roll here. Take a cursed cyberball, an injection, because I need to buy percent damage, and then nice, a cursed screwdriver. I should probably just be locking random wrenches and screwdrivers as well, because we can convert these weapon slots to cursed weapon slots, um, which would help us out a lot. Roll here. 
So I might just like lock this level two screwdriver until it gets cursed. Uh, I don't think that's the way to go yet. I'll I'll wait until we get a higher level one showing up in the shop. But that is something that we should consider doing. Take both of these, take in the community support because it's unique, and we'll take the cake as well. And then let's build the laser turret. Five, uh, eight armor while standing still, I guess, is pretty nice for the barricade. But at this point, our armor is not going to be a huge portion of our defensive stats. As we go deeper into endless mode, you want to transition to just tardigrades and stuff. But for this character, where we're not planning to go for super deep endless mode, the barricade could still be pretty good. So we're going to lock it and try to get it cursed. And then I will lock this wrench and try to get that cursed as well. Um, do I want to try for cursed jelly? Sure, why not? Let's roll one more time. I'm going to roll into just until I find something that I want to curse. And then we can always lock four items and try to maximize our, our uh, chance of cursing stuff. <laughs> that was really funny. We just got to stand there while the elites just died on top of us. So we're going to end up with a pretty massive bank of materials on the ground, I think. There's like not much we can do about that because we had 400 last wave. The um, Frozen Heart and the Greek Fire definitely have anti-synergy. We, we don't usually want both of those items at the same time because the Greek Fire does present damage based on its uh, tick speed and the Frozen Heart lowers that tick speed. So again, there's some decisions that we've made that we would have made differently if we had planned to go Endless from the start. Um, but I think this is like a really fun way to play Endless is just when you feel like it, you just hop into Endless mode. Take a plant here and sure, I'll take a pearl. I think I can't tell if that was an extra pearl or not. More pickup range. I definitely do want so I'll grab that and we'll take more attack speed. The Cursed Barricade for 14 armor while standing still. Then I'm going to actually just leave the wrench locked i think no we're gonna roll past it actually we'll we'll be able to lock a weapon as we get towards the later um stages hedgehog is a fairy item but uh just lowers my melee damage and offsets the regen anyways so i think that's fine cursed gecko great cursed exoskeleton also great this is all awesome stuff for us and in fact, this shop is awesome stuff for us as well. So just free rerolls all the way down. All right, here's a cursed screwdriver. So um, we'll have to upgrade it. But I think what we will do is recycle the level four screwdriver and replace it with the cursed one. And then we can upgrade to a fully cursed weapon just by finding screwdrivers. Then I'm going to buy these two and roll. Level three screwdriver doesn't help us upgrade. But I might just lock all of these items and try to uh, get them cursed. And then we'll save 700. The critical hits on constructs, of course, are amazing. And just the sheer attack speed of the constructs is incredible. This is obviously not a challenging character combination. It's, it's not one that I would say is going to stretch your strategic muscles, but it is a character combination that is just kind of fun to watch play out. It's just really satisfying given how much explosive damage we're doing. And now that we've got the geckos to pull in some materials, that will help us actually level up as well, which is kind of nice because now we're getting materials that actually give us XP. <laughs> nice. Um, yeah, there's a cursed nail. We would, of course, take it even if it wasn't cursed, but a cursed nail is going to be amazing. Here, I'm going to roll once and just take some percent damage. Nothing got cursed here, so we're going to unlock these weapons and buy the Clockwork Wasp and then roll. Take a uh, goblet as well, and elemental damage, and roll. First leather vest, why not? Um, ricochet, so normally you don't want to buy ricochet in endless mode, because basically what happens is that 
Ricochet has a hidden passive where the bounce does 50% less damage than the initial shot. And Pierce happens after bounce and uses the 50% reduced damage from the Ricochet. So it, it reduces the damage of all your piercing shots and for most characters significantly reduces the damage of your weapons. That being said, I'm going to buy it anyways just because I love Ricochet and I think it's super fun and we're not planning to go on a super, super deep endless mode run anyways. Take the laser turret here. I don't really care about capping my movement speed at three because we're not going to be moving that much, but I guess let's go ahead and buy some more stuff and we'll cap our movement speed at 13 or at 21. And 21 is a totally respectable amount of speed, actually. Uh, making sure to get our crit chance to 100%. And I'll take this just because it's a fairy item we'll take a lost duck it does cost me elemental damage but the luck is good uh increased enemy speed during the next wave i don't think we want scarf at all but we do want this level one screwdriver i almost skipped it but we want it to uh, make our level one cursed screwdriver into a level two cursed screwdriver go ahead and lock the toxic sludge and roll here and then i'm gonna go ahead and just lock this roll a couple more times and try to get some cursed uh, weapons going. So we're just going to lock all of these things and see if we get anything cursed. I want to get more fish hooks so that we can more reliably curse stuff. I love the, the bounce off the medical turrets too. That just always is funny to me. You can see it's like bouncing the heel off elsewhere. And every time we kill a tree, that's another turret on the field. The problem is that enemies are, we're not getting enough enemies to clear our mines. They're, the mines are spawning too fast. So we're actually losing out on turrets. Uh, Cause when we kill trees, because there's a maximum of a hundred constructs that can be on the field, sometimes we aren't getting a turret spawn because we had just have too many things, which is really funny. Got some some severe lag there as well. Uh, yeah, I'll take a bone dice and we'll take a boxing glove and a pearl. And then let's go ahead and grab some percent damage and some armor. Didn't get anything cursed, so we'll unlock the wrench here and just buy these other items. Roll nice, a percent damage already. We'll take a dynamite and roll and a cyber ball and a lemonade and roll. Leather vest, campfire, alien worm, sure. Uh, cursed energy bracelet, awesome. And then I guess I'll just buy these. A cursed fish hook, amazing. 40% chance to curse items. That's exactly what we need. And then we'll roll again. Uh, cursed focus. I don't think we care that much about uh, losing some percent damage. So let's buy the metal detector and roll and then we'll lock all of these and try to get them all cursed, which we should now have a pretty good chance of because we have like a 62% chance or whatever that is. I think our, our base fish hook has 20 and uh, the cursed one had 40 or 41. So we have about a, we have a 60% chance depending on my memory of the numbers. Um, we've got enough knockback that you can see our constructs are actually shoving the enemies away from me, which is really funny. Because um, the way that knockback now works, it always moves the enemy away from the player. So uh, even if the construct is on the other side of the enemy from me, it's going to pull it back away from me. Which is actually helping to keep us alive and was, was part of what worked out pretty well when we started buying a little bit of knockback. Some of these enemies have, like, knockback susceptibility, so they're getting knocked back more. Also, I, I love how many fruits there are in the field there. Uh, yep, explosion damage and size. Perfect. And more pearls. Amazing. And then a bunch of cursed items. We'll definitely take those. Cursed Wandering Bot. Um, oh, okay, so Cursed Wandering Bot gives you movement speed. It doesn't change the effect of the Wandering Bot. I was kind of hoping it would do something with the Wandering Bot, but uh, giving you movement speed is kind of a cool effect. Keep rolling and more elemental damage. We do lose pickup range, but that's okay. We can offset that. 
We'll take the Wisdom here just because it's a unique. You want to pull those out of the pool. I don't really care about the Night Goggles. I'm going to lock this level 4 wrench until we can get it cursed. And Mist on a level 2 screwdriver. Roll again. Buy a head injury and um, roll again. Cursed hunting trophy, sure. That's going to be tons of money. Helmet and metal. Uh, and then let's see if we can get any of these cursed. We don't really care. I'm, I'm looking for things to curse here. Let's go ahead and pick up. I guess uh, I'll buy the screwdriver. Giving up on a little bit of money here, but I, I want to roll down my money a little bit in order to fight the elite anyways. Okay, so cursed screwdriver. Do we want to just swap out of a wrench? No, I kind of like the explosive turrets, so I think we're going to go with this cursed wrench and keep rolling. Lock a cyber ball. That's something that we can reasonably curse, and we'll just go fight the elite now. I really just wanted to find an item that we wanted to buy that, that I wanted to like save up and curse. Turns out our damage output is high enough that we probably didn't need to spend down our money like that, but it was fun to do. Two wandering bots just charging around and pick up all these consumables so the game doesn't lag as much at the end of the wave. That's some... Um, if you're doing this run for like a longer endless mode run, I think that's some real future proofing that you have to do is crash protect yourself by picking up the, uh, the consumables if you have a garden. Yeah, so we prevented quite a lot of delay there. Definitely taking the jerky. And we'll recycle that. We don't really need HP. Uh, we're, we can go over dodge cap. That's fine. Cursed cyberball. Take a pearl. Sure. Roll here. I'm going to just lock this. Try to get some cursed weapons. And then roll by roll. We're just rolling one slot at a time because we've got three things we want to curse. And go ahead and lock this turret. I don't know if we're going to go all the way to uh, wave 30, because these shopping trips are getting really, really long since we just have so much money. The fun thing about this character is that this is what a lot of endless mode runs sort of turn into anyways, is you just stand still in the middle of the map and have infinite range on your ranged weapons and kill enemies with things like alien eyes and baby with a beard. But this character is doing it with our <laughs> absurdly rapid fire constructs, which are just, <laughs> look how fast those things are shooting. Oh, I forgot to pick up consumables. Apologies for the, the framiness. Uh, we're gonna do that. Wow, nothing got cursed? That seems very un unlikely. Um, I'm gonna just unlock these. Okay, cursed screwdriver, but I don't really want the cursed screwdriver. I want a cursed wrench. Um, pick one regen here. And we will roll. We will buy these and roll. Clockwork Wasp. Saltwater is unique, so we'll pull that out of the pool. Um, Black Flag, we could get Cursed, but I'm honestly, I'm just going to buy it. Because uh, I think we're just going to go to Wave 28 and fight that Elite. And then I will... I could buy the Candle, because it's a unique. You will often end up buying Candle, even though it costs you money in Endless Mode runs. And this is a Cursed version, so let's go ahead and do that. Then we're going to roll here, take a Potato and an Anvil. Okay, so the anvil is going to help upgrade our, our weapons, so we don't need to worry about cursing high-level weapons. And there's Sift's Relic, and a Clockwork Wasp, and a Metal. Go to wave 27. Just going to run around and do damage this wave, because we've stood still enough. Going to develop a bad back. 
if we just sit in our chair all day like that. Something that I'm sure none of you can relate to. I like that our two medical turrets are just up here, and we just can't die from actual damage. We would have to just get one shot, because the medical turrets heal us for so much and fire so fast. Just picking up those to lag-proof us a little bit. Um, oh, right, yeah, the eye patch we, we unlocked, so projectiles get extra pierce on critical hit and minus accuracy. I mean, this just seems really fun for an all-critical hit endless run. Uh, just extra piercing, and then go ahead and roll here. Um, roll again. Add nothing exciting. We'll take this and this and this and roll and roll and roll. I'm really looking for just something fun and cool. Uh, let's take a goldfish and roll and see if we can get something cool out of it. We didn't. Pretty unlucky there. We can take a tentacle, and we'll just roll, take another turret. Got 100 armor. Um, okay, perfect. We hit 100 armor at the end of the run. That's a good good goal for us to have hit. Cyberball, Cyclops Worm, Metal Detector, rolling again, and lock all these so they can get cursed after we're done the game. All right, let's go fight some elites. Where are they? Just going to stand still inside of it and uh, see who's tougher. And there we go. We've defeated the elite. And all the cursed enemies are starting to resist our damage output, but of course our constructs just attack so fast and for so much damage that um, even the highly souped up cursed enemies with like the buffs on them and everything still can't resist our damage output. So nothing can stop us at this point. I don't think this run is going to go like to the the absolute depths of endless mode you're not getting to wave you know 2000 with this character combination um but this is a obviously a totally viable endless mode run because it's super powerful and it's always just fun to see a construct run going deep into endless mode all right um i think that is gonna do it we could continue going but uh I think we've we've uh, kind of exhausted the possibility of just standing still and watching the constructs kill things. So I hope that you all enjoyed this run. I had a really good time with it. It was really, really fun. Um, highly recommend this character combination if you're just looking for a relaxing light show. And of course, uh, if you have enjoyed the run, feel free to leave a comment and uh, like the video. Helps me out a ton with the algorithm. So really appreciate you taking the time to do that. Uh, and of course... We will be back with more Brotato class guides, random modded Brotato, and other strategy game content. Alright, my friends, thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time.